1948, the neighborhood around Milwaukee and Devon Avenues was mostly undeveloped prairie. But a pair of Northside newlyweds saw potential in that prairie as a place to hop off the streetcar or drive in for a bite. Chicago's changed a lot since 1948, but nearly nothing has changed at Superdog. And that's just how people like it. Superdog superfan Erica Gunderson has the story as the drive-in celebrates its 75th birthday today. Hiya, thanks for stopping. May I take your order, please? Customers placing an order at Superdog Drive-In have received the same cheerful greeting since Maury and Flory Berman opened it in 1948. 75 years later, the restaurant and its beefy rooftop mascots could frankly be called Chicago icons. But when it started, Superdog was just meant to be a summer business to help the couple pay for college. Our parents were high school sweethearts, and neither of them had any restaurant background. To open a restaurant, a business together, they're married less than a year. The creativity, the forethought, the guts to do this. And it was successful. And once the Bermans relished a taste of the hot dog life, there was no going back. It was their passion. They liked it. They liked it not only as a business, but as a hobby. So even if they weren't working that day, which was almost never because they were working a lot, they would stop in. As the business grew, the Bermans developed innovative methods for speedier sausage slinging. They also raised three of their own little wieners at the restaurant. I learned the ABCs and the numbers sitting at my mom's side, listening to her take orders at our switchboard. Okay. Over the years, Drucker's husband Don and the Berman grandkids have also joined the hot dog pack, along with many longtime employees. I've been here for so long that it's just easy. You know, everybody is nice, every, it's a family, it's just like home. My adult children grew up in the business. They both love Superdog and both work here at least a couple of shifts a week. Plus, my niece joined our business 13 years ago. The family lost its original hot dog lovers, Maury and Flory, in 2015 and 2018. But Superdog remains faithful to their vision. Our menu is the same as it's been for 75 years. The way you talk to the switchboard, even the way we say, hiya. Thanks for stopping. May I take your order, please? That's a phrase that my mother used in 48, 75 years ago, and it's a phrase that we still use today. And personally, I think that's the best part. For me, Superdog has always been a magical place. Growing up in Logan Square, we'd pile the family into the station wagon and make the long drive down Milwaukee Avenue until we'd see Maury and Flory winking at us. Clearly, I'm not alone. My dad used to come here all the time, and he would take us here, and yeah, it was kind of like a night out. It and has the best hot dog. <laughs> the whole old school thing, yeah. you know, when they bring the food to your car, and it's just a nice experience. To have a place like this last 75 years, I think that just shows you how good it is. And that's why the family says they plan to keep Superdog just the way it is for many decades to come. Being an iconic Chicago institution, we just grew up here. And as I like to say, we've been at the same corner of Milwaukee, Devon, and Nagel for 75 years, just doing the same thing every day. From the bottom of my pure beef heart, this is Erica Gunderson. So now I want a hot dog. For all its retro charm, there is one very modern Superdog story. The Berman's granddaughter, Laura Eustick, who manages the Wheeling location, successfully campaigned to get an official hot dog emoji created in 2015. And no, there is no ketchup on the emoji. <laughs>